Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Long War of the Chosen. So I've put some thought into putting together a team for Operation Brutal Fist and I'm not seeing it. I'd like to I'd like to do it because it counters a an important dark event. But the problem is that if I am to do another mission here, strength four, I don't want the strength to increase any more. That is, if, if the vigilance increases, then strength will increase, and then it's going to just make the uh, taking the advent tower more difficult later. So I think I have to sit this one out. Unfortunately. Is it the right choice? I, I still don't really know, but oh well. I'm just going to have to go with it. So I don't have any supplies. I have a load of intel. Illyrium, alloys, all this stuff is really good. I don't think there's really much for me to do at the moment except for just past time. I want battle scanners before I go on to the tower mission and I think I don't know if I really want to wait two weeks but I, I would like to take Pago and maybe Kestrel on the network tower that's two more weeks away that might be able to be reduced if I uh, let's see here. In three days, we clean up some more alien debris. I don't know what I'm going to get out of that. If it's just going to be supplies or alloys or a mixture of both, I'm not entirely sure. It'd be nice if I got to see it here, you know. If I click on it again. Oh, okay. 91 supplies. There we go. So, yeah, 91 supplies, that's still not enough, is it? Uh, but I'd like to build an infirmary, because I really I need to get these guys back in quickly. Uh, it would take a week to build it. Is it going to... Is it going to really reduce the amount of time before they're ready? Probably not, but I really do want to get the infirmary up. So I guess there's nothing else to do except for past time, so we'll do that. This is locking me in for not getting this, uh, not taking on the uh, rescue VIP from Advent Vehicle, but I think it's going to be better that we don't increase strength here. I think the next thing I need to do in West Africa is the network tower, and that is it. Uh, outside of that, I think we should probably head to South Africa to try to do some more work down there. And then going to, uh, to New Indonesia. I I'm, just, I'm just thinking out loud here. I don't think doing much down here is really going to do anything. But I, I would like to also get another... What is it? A, a, a radio relay? And I think if I do it in South Africa, it's going to make... New Indonesia cheaper to make contact with, I think. So, anyway. We should go to East Africa and South Africa to try and find some other work to do and leave West Africa. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I am going to try to get rid of the Scilab and the alien debris while we're sitting at the skirmisher facility. So we'll sit here for three days. I can't. I can't. I... We are victorious. Oh, okay. Good. A supply run. Eighty-two supplies. So actually, we we should be able to get the uh, that place up run the infirmary up and running very quickly. Let's check out another. I didn't see who was there, but I would really like to. Anton Grace, how nine days? 
Is that nine days because... Yeah, I think it's even cheaper because I have Harvey Cattell there. Keetle. Um, okay. Because I'd really love to get the Reaper. That would be great. Hunt the Chosen Assassin. Chosen Hunter. You know what? I think I'm going to do this. And I'm going to send... Anton Gray's it's it's a, uh, a success it doesn't matter so I can send him along with basically anybody uh, let's send somebody that I'd like to get some experience out of this so somebody pretty low let's see I have two ass oh that's right because he's been taken so I only have two assaults let's get Let's get Emma Robinson going here. She has more health. We'll send uh, Emma, Emma Robinson with Anton Gray's staff sergeant and a squaddy. So he'll be gone for nine days. But in that time, I will be looking for other things to do in South Africa. I'm going to go to South Africa so I can use more of my lower tier or my lower ranked. Um... Yep. Some of my lower ranking soldiers uh, to start leveling them up again because it was it, it's too bad this is not good it's not looking good for us here let's keep going fantastic battle scanners i'm gonna go back i don't think i'll be able to do whoa uh okay i don't think i'm gonna be able to do anything Talon rounds, I'm not going to go for. So that means Helena Bowen Carter. Let's get you somewhere else. I mean, honestly, I don't really have anywhere for, for you to go. So here. This will be done in a day now. Yep. Okay. It's in the south. That's good. Uh, get Advent's attention. I don't really want to do that, though. An intel package. VIP capture only. 35 intel. It's 3 days and 18 hours, so I'm gonna skip this. My god. Okay, now it's still down here. Reward a recruit and a recruit. Kiefer Sutherland and Amadi... Mawaz Mawakizi. That sounds like a good idea. Advent loot and a very large map in four days, though. A couple recruits sound okay, but d just give me one day here. Oh, okay, that's bad. I wonder if that's going to show up in the, um, I wonder if that's going to show up as like a sit rep or something, but. Why do I have, oh, because that just cleared out. Great. And an infirmary is definitely what I want to put here. Here or here, and I guess it really doesn't matter. And then with the incoming... Yep, good. Okay, five days. But that's probably going to take seven, because I'm going to leave here. Um, and then the next thing is resistance comms laboratory. Probably not. Power relay. Probably not. I don't know if I need another room here. Because I've got two more empty facilities, eventually. Do I have anybody? I don't. Yeah, I don't have... So I have one, two, three engineers. Getting a fourth engineer might be nice. Just, just to see some extra work going out. But I can also upgrade all of these places as well. Uh, training center? No, guerrilla tactics. No, training center. 
Okay, it is the training, uh, the GTS. So I need to upgrade this so that I can get an officer in training. It's only 35 supplies, so that's actually not too bad. Okay, well, let's go back to time. I am going to just leave now. Let's go to South Africa so I can try and find some more work. I don't want to look here anymore, and the Avenger is going to help with intel. Setting course for Sector 13, South Africa. Two days, no. Supplies would be nice, but no. Scilab, now operational. Good. First up is a soldier, uh, Jeremiah Jordan. Yeah, four days. It's not too bad. And we can throw a scientist into here. I think that's okay, actually. Yeah, because we don't really have anything going on with uh, research. Yeah, there's no reason for any of this. Okay, so... Despite Shin's reservations, I find it highly unlikely that we would have gained any additional information from the first Codex had we taken a less assertive approach. Regardless, I am sure our troops will have no trouble employing the Skulljack against the next Codex Ugh. they encounter in the field. Got it. Okay, so two days. That's not too bad at all. I'm really, really excited about this. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't see how much we got out of it, but I'll see here in a minute. Render? No. Render? No. Render? Basic and engineering. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Thank you, Tygen. I think it was like 20-something if it was 140 before, or was it 114? I know it was a 1 and a 4. <laughs> there he is. Uh, Jer Bear, ready. So, Soul Fire. I want to go to the Scilab. I'm just going to... Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own Psy operatives can tap into that same power. That's great. I want to take... Okay, good. I was going to say, I want to take a look at his Psy. Oh, there he is. So, he starts as an Acolyte, so can I just, oh, he already took Soul Fire, so I can go for Insanity or Mind Merge, is that right? Never mind, okay, so he has all of this. For some reason, I thought I had to choose one, but he already has Mind Merge and Insanity and Soul Fire. I think I'm going to just throw somebody in immediately again. We've got one more rookie sitting around. Charlize Theron. So let's put her in here too. And if I need more people, because he went from like 33 to 78. So I'm not sure if we'll, we'll kind of give this a, a test here. I don't need everybody here. Is that gonna be... Is that gonna be one day now? No, it still says two days. Okay. But I don't know... Let's let's take a look here. The Charlize Theron is 28. He was 33. Where'd he go? He was 33 and he went to this. 
I don't know. Yeah, we don't actually see if he's like high, very high, low. Um, what's it called? His combat intelligence. We don't. We can't see that as a rookie. So I'm not going to be able. Oh no! It does say high. It doesn't say zero AP because they haven't gotten any yet. But yeah, okay, that's probably what this what's going on here. But so it does say high, and I'm wondering, was it very high to begin with? <laughs> I'll see all this in editing, and and I'll let you know what I'm learning in editing. But okay, back with time. F forces are up to 10 now. 10. We still have four, two vigilance, two, one, and one, one. So I'm going to hang out down here for some time. Ooh, damage control is now done. Some advent ro robots and other units gain damage control ability, granting bonus armor after they take damage. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. So there goes July. July 26th, 2035. Let's, uh, let's see. I mean, we, we did quite a bit here, but... Um, yeah, I, I need to be more... Vigilant and the uh, and August here, so my training, my focus, all of my efforts have been rewarded. I am reinvigorated. I was good before, but this is something else entirely. I'm on a whole other level. Hmm. Okay, so that's the hunter. That's not who... I was fighting the assassin last time. Right. But I feel like the hunter is who I saw the first time. So I was getting a little bit mixed up in the way that I should be playing against them. I think that's what I was doing. Yeah, because this is who I faced last time. Okay. You should only hope okay. that I find you before the others do. They are nearly as civil. So I think both of them actually have somebody. I think they've both captured someone. So she's all done. We're going to carry on here. And let's go to Avenger the supply drop. New course. There we go. Setting course for the West African no. sector. Setting course for the South African sector. There. Infirmary is done. Commander, the infirmary can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers. And over time, they'll also recuperate from any negative conditions they've picked up in combat. We can also speed up the process through therapy if needed. Yeah, okay. So... Yeah, we want to throw Jody Foster, can be our doctor. And John Travolta is the only one with a negative trait, and it's not really that bad. It says five days. I'll, I'll wait. I want to get some people back. Let's now check out the rates that people will be healing. 
Okay, so 10 days will have almost everybody back. And, oh, actually, that's 14 hours. Wow. So in 10 days, we'll have everyone back. That's pretty good. It's much better than 20 or whatever. I think it was probably like five days has already passed, I think. So, yeah, but I think we're saving about five to eight days total. So that's not too bad. Yeah, I think I saw this before, but okay. Okay, finally. Nine days. Here we go. Find a lead. This is not the Liberation Chain, but it's extremely light. It says rapid response. Okay, so we do, we do see the sit rep here. And there's going to be lost. So, I think this is a... Uh, a good one to send maybe not the the weakest people but to send a couple like we can get a psi operative into this and so we're doing Commander, it for we'll sure. need to have one of our troops equip the skull and here we go i started off with the heavy contact division but basically just pulled out some kind of higher ranking soldiers and put in some lower ranking soldiers and so I also gave a predator, or I had an extra predator armor and laser rifle, and I don't know if that came from somebody that got hurt, or they were just leftovers, I'm not sure, but I gave the laser rifle to John Travolta, and the predator armor, I think, went on to Bruce Willis, or Die Hard. Uh, I do have a grenadier, a shinobi specialist who's actually going to be more of like a more about covering fire and sentinel so he's more of a shooter than using his gremlin for uh, as his toolbox he's more of a shooter uh, Matt Damon sharpshooter Isai operative Jerbear and Die Hard the uh, technical and I think I only have one, two, so I'll probably... I think I should bring one more, right? You've got a crazy amount of movement. Let's actually... We'll bring this battle scanner with you, so you can do scouting. And then uh, you can bring a flashbang. Gave him a nanoscale vest. That's going to increase his health a couple more, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, I also dropped alloy... What is it? Uh, alloy plating onto Idris Elba. I think Idris Elba was one of those that was out injured and he's back. Because I don't remember seeing him for a long time. I think that's true. Um, yeah. Maybe I just haven't been able to use him. But in any case, this is what we're going in with for Operation Sleeping Valley. We're just going for Intel, Intel Package. But because it's extremely light, it's a fast, um, a fast infiltration time, and we have plenty of time to do it. I figure let's send in some some young guns and try to get some experience out of it while we're waiting for the the major uh, the major operation in West Africa. Sky Ranger deploy. Menace, ready to deploy. Okay. Well. We could continue sitting here. I think I will. Puggo's back. And we found the Reapers. So we gained a faction hero, a Reaper. I'm excited. Let's check them out. Commander, we've just made contact with a new faction of the Resistance known as the Reapers. They're an elusive bunch, but this is their headquarters. We can scan at this location now to start benefiting from our newfound cooperation. We may have chosen a different means of resistance, but our people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation, or die trying. 
My people have thrown off the shackles of alien oppression. And through discipline, we have survived. We don't rely on the aliens' technology, and we would never live in their cities. We are the hunters. We move in the shadows. And we won't sleep until the last alien is dead at our feet. My people are up for some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. Commander, the factions have readied proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan Holy our next moly. stop. We've got a shot at hitting the Shut Elders hard, up. something we haven't tried before. You up for it, Commander? Sometimes I feel like that's too much. <laughs> like, central. I can see it. But uh, anyway, we got a supply run and a soldier bond. Tense training. So is this to remove retribution? Like, this is their card that they have active or one of the cards they have active and I get to remove it? Is that what that's saying? I don't know. Alright, we'll send two corporals. Michelle Yeo and Chumba Chumbo Okeke. That is 14% chance of failure with a 25% chance of an ambush. They would be better at shooting and, and defending themselves if there's an ambush. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. But 94 more supplies. I really need the supplies right now, so I'm going to go for the supplies. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. I hope so, Volk. I hope so. Let's check out Mike. Mike Davis. So, Shadow grants the soldier Shadow an advanced form of concealment that lasts for two turns, and Tradecraft the soldier has significantly reduced infiltration times while on missions. I don't mince words when it comes to aliens, and the skirmishers are no different. I don't trust them, and I don't like sending my people out hand in hand with them. That said, they're definitely loyal to the commander, and they could put up a hell of a fight. Yeah. So Shadow Grenadier. So whatever happened to... Do they not come with... They come with a throwing knife instead of the... Uh, those... It wasn't a grenade. Claymore. They they used to have claymores. I don't think uh, he really needs anything else. So what, I don't know what a throwing knife does. Two to three damage. You get four of them. I assume you get four only. I don't know if you get to reload. That doesn't sound... Sounds... Weird. Throw a single knife at a target guaranteed to remain in shadow. Okay, well at least you get to... There's, there's still that. So that's cool. I'll take it. It's something new and interesting. I think I'm going to give you knife juggler. I want to try and use these knives. This is going to force me to use it. Uh, so that way, knives are a bit more stronger. You get more knives, and then when you kill someone with the with your primary weapon, which is that vector rifle, you'll get it back. We'll go with that. This one tracking does sound pretty cool because then he could see enemies on the other side. But I'm wondering, I'm wondering if you already had to see them to begin with, or if like if it's like you knew that they were there and you saw where they were walking so they're now out of sight you now know where they are or you still know where they are after you've already seen them i'm not sure so i'm gonna go with knife juggler shadow grenadier looks really fun though don't get me wrong i think i'm gonna go for crippling strike though and then here man serial is sounds so good but I think I'm gonna have to go for silent killer in this case because I want I want him to just be you know running around I don't ever want him to be found so silent killer even though serial is is fun you're able to take a shot if it dies take another shot if it dies take another shot but again You'd have to really line it up perfectly with the amount of damage that this does. 
we're going to have to get him a new rifle immediately, which I'll probably spend some of those supplies on now. Uh, and that's going to help, but I still think Silent Killer. And we have 10x, 10 XCOM AP, but I'm not going to go for Ever Vigilant. I'm not going to go for Aim. Needle is something that I, I think I need to go for. But I don't want to spend 8 of the XCOM points because he's brand new. I'd rather spend them on people that have been here a little bit longer. And Tactical Sense... Sounds cool. Not for you, though. Okay. Let's get you a new rifle immediately, though. New orders, Commander? Yes. Build items. Trooper, 10 supplies and one. I feel like I want to bring one, get one more of these, but I'll wait for now. Laser Vector Rifle? Yes. And an Armor Templar, Skirmisher, and Reaper. I think the Templar definitely should take one. And I'm gonna pass on the other two for now. Okay. Even though Puggo, I, I know Puggo, you should definitely get one too, but I'm going to wait to see what happens here. Whoops. Okay, Kestrel's back. We're actually Commander, we're getting we might have close to do some here. Cleaning, but we've still got room to grow here. Yeah. We should consider building some new facilities. And I've got three people just sitting around. So, alien machinery, let's get you excavating. And the workshop. Oh, because we're getting... Okay, this might have been an, a problem, but it's okay. Yeah, I put the Scilab and the infirmary thinking that the engineers would be needing to, to, to help with that. But I've actually screwed that up. Oh, well. Something to, to think about if I play this again sometime in the future. Um, let's now the resistance comms yeah so we definitely want the gremlin in here let's go to the training center no GTS and I want to unlock Officer Training Station. Gorilla Tactics School Facility Upgraded. Oh, that's it? So I'm forgetting what this does. I just know that I want somebody to have it, and I feel like... I feel like the, the specialists, I've done specialists in the past. The, the problem with that is that if, if they're healing or trying to take over, like they're not necessarily going to be shooting all the time. So that's kind of why I did that. Uh, Rangers were okay too, but definitely not like technicals. And Reapers and Skirmishers, I didn't think was a good idea. Sharpshooters, not really, because they're too like far back sometimes. What would... Yeah, okay, good. I was going to say, I, I'd like to see what happens when I do this. So, Penelope Cruz, we would get Command. Bonuses to Will, Dodge, and Infiltration to soldiers who have previously served under his or her command. These bonuses scale up the more missions they go on together. So, it's it's good to, to find those squads and make a, an officer for that particular squad. Command. End your turn to grant a bonus action to any visible member of the squad. Number of charges is dependent on the officer's rank. Okay. Oscar Mike. Spend an action to give all allies within command range. Plus five mobility for the remainder of the turn. Usable once per mission. 
So either fairly early on or at the end when we really need to get to the to the uh, extraction zone. Focus fire. It's been an action to pinpoint a target and grant your squad cumulative aim bonuses and one armor piercing on attacks. Uh, so this is like targeting, you know, what the officers do against us. But they don't get, I don't think they do get armor piercing. Penelope Cruz is definitely one that I'm, I'm good with giving. So let's see, Oscar Mike, and do I choose one? That's the next question. Let's go with Focus Fire. Here we go. So, Penelope Cruz. Focus Fire Training. She's going to be the um, Covert Maneuver Unit Officer as a Sergeant. And then, so it's going to take six days. And then this is going to be resistance comms but i'm not man i just i don't see spending all of our supplies on this yet when i'm ready to go i'll do it i suppose since that worked we might as well keep it up commander so maybe i'll do it now i think i'll do it now because i just yeah, 250, so that will drop me down to 109. Maybe steal some corpses or cover loot? No, not really. Now, would these be XCOM ability points? This is something I've always asked and don't know the answer to. I could send three soldiers to figure this out. Um... Four more days until Sangupta and Holly Hunter are back. That's good. Let's send you. And I'm realizing here, I don't have many. Oh, I do have three gunners. Okay. She's been hurt for quite some time. So, yeah, we'll send you. Let's send. Samuel Jackson, maybe? We're up to 40%, so somebody... A corporal, maybe. Okeke? I'm okay with that. 27%? I'm okay with that. It's about one-fourth. To learn if we're going to get this. For four days, yeah, that's good. We will work hand-in-hand -hand with our new allies. Let's, I want to learn about that one, because if that's just XCOM points, that's that's actually really good. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Oh, okay, battle armor, magnetic weapons. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Cool. And we will build the uh, resistance comms now too. Resistance communications facility construction initiated. Okay. Oops. Got a lot going on in this episode and we didn't do any... We haven't done any um, missions. And I don't think we will. <gasps> hey okay so a resistance personnel that's cool but Samuel Marquez we we have to go Setting for this course for West Africa so we didn't need to do a special Commander ops Tygen and Shad and are going find to be happy if we don't put the scope and here it is starting off with the tactical assault group I figured when I said creme de la creme, I didn't realize I was bringing basically everybody at the top of the list. But uh, Pago is making a reappearance, and Kestrel is coming back. I haven't seen them. You guys haven't seen them. Let's bring them back. They they really deserve it. 
Uh, I'm also bringing Harrison Ford. Okeke. And uh, Anton Grays. I found out where the... Uh, out where the laser rifle and the armor came from it was from him which once again he got hurt and he lost all of his stuff so I, it's still not working I don't know if it's I don't know I'm, I'm over it but that's where those two things came from so unfortunately he's not going out with the best gear but he is still I did give him alloy plating and a hazmat vest, so he still has 10 health. That'll help. Uh, and uh, three ablative health as well. And I'm bringing Connor Kerrigan or Hype, because I want to play a little bit more with him to figure out how to, uh, to best use him while moving kind of a thing. I think I've only played with him once. I, I kind of wanted to bring the um, the Reaper, and I thought about it, and I went back and forth, and I'm deciding no, because, well, because, um, we don't really have a whole lot here <laughs> left over, and I figured leaving a couple sergeants at least might help out, well, I don't think whatever, uh, something bad's going to happen while in the next six days or five days but I am going to boost this so at three days um, I'm going to do this so I'm not fighting a light moderate I want to take on very light and I'm bringing three staff sergeants a sergeant uh, two sergeants and a corporal well, that's kind of backwards of what I did in South Africa but as I said we need to get Staff Sergeant Simu Marquez back now. So let's send in Tactical Assault Group plus Kerrigan and Grays. In position to drop. So we'll start this, and in three days, so August 3rd... Just what are you and the Reapers up to, Commander? I've heard they'll eat just about anything, if they don't turn on you first. So, actually, vigilance has gone down everywhere in Africa, which is good. But, um, yeah, in three days' time, August 3rd, August, uh, sorry, August 6th or 7th, I will boost it and then we'll go for it. I need to remember this because I want this to be done quickly. I don't want to go six days or five days to the to the end here. I don't want to go all the way here. Oof. Yeah, I don't want to go all the way to um, to the end of uh, the expiration. I just want to get this one over with so I can get Marquez back. If he's still hurt, then we can use uh, we can throw him into the infirmary. Okay, this was this was actually a pretty good. Um, let's head back down south, actually. Setting a, course for South Africa. A pretty good episode, even though I'm not going to take on a mission this time. This is more. It kind of needed to catch up. I had a very long mission last time, so uh, this time is a lot more just of the uh, Avenger management and uh, XCOM squad management, things like that, so. No matter what this is, Kate Blanchett, so sorry. I mean, I, I can't do it. And there it is. The Heavy Contact Division is ready to recover the, the item here. Again, this was more for Ooh, that's bad. This is more for some uh, level ups, just to, to get out there and get some, get these guys to uh, learn some of the ropes. We got a Berserker, a Heavy Gunner, Purifier, Surveillance Drone, and Viper Serpents. I'm hoping it's just one Berserker. 
but where there's berserkers, there's certainly mutons as well. And we can over over infiltrate this a little bit more. Maybe drop this down. I'm not sure if I care too much about that. Yeah, I mean we've we've got we've got a few heavy hitters here. I'm not too scared about what's what's to come here, but um, we do have some heavy hitters, and then I'll be able to try out Jerbear, the uh, the psyop. So psy operative. So we'll see what comes from this in the next episode. Uh, I apologize if this episode wasn't up to snuff, but honestly, this has been about an hour of me playing, uh, plus some time that, that I had to walk away and come back and stuff. But, um, but basically, we, yeah, the this Reapers was believe in kind of needed and share here. little interest in preserving the true nature of our world beyond what their eyes can show them. Their actions have enraged the elders and brought fear to their minions. In that respect, they are a valued ally as long as they remain loyal to our cause. Ugh. I don't know if I like that guy. Um, so, yeah, anyway, management was needed. So I spent a lot of time here. We did get a lot of stuff done. Don't get me wrong. Um, we, we got a lot of stuff done. And I've spent all the supplies again, living paycheck to paycheck. Gotta love it. <laughs> and we only have, uh, how many more? 12 more days until the supply drop. 17 days for the magnetic weapons. You know why? Let's get these guys out of here. Yeah, now it's 12 days. The infirmary. Is that 15, 50%? We have three more wounded. Let's check. Let's just look at this real quick. 40 hours until Hunter comes back. Three days for Sengupta. And 35 hours until Cameron Diaz. That's enough. I'm going to take you out of here. Because I, I'd really like to... Yeah, now we're at 11 days. I guess it doesn't change that much. So we'll... We'll put Natalie Portman back in here. It will help uh, in both cases. So 12 days instead of 11 days, but 12 days until our next supply drop and then magnetic weapons as well. So that's very exciting. Once we get magnetic weapons, we can start spending all of our supplies on that again. And then um, we can pass down those laser weapons from like the staff sergeants and sergeants down to lower ranking uh, soldiers so that they have better aim and then our staff sergeants and sergeants with good aim already or anybody and for that matter that has good aim can take on a magnetic weapon and start dealing some heavy heavy damage uh, so I'm super excited about that <sighs> okay I think that's enough for now um, again, I apologize that this is a, a, a different video, a weird video, but a lot got done, even though it wasn't an operation. And we have two uh, fun operations coming up. This heavy contact division with new PSYOP involved, and then getting uh, Staff Sergeant Samuel Marquez back in a couple episodes. So very much looking forward to this and i think we're going to be kicking some butt with uh the the squad that we're bringing in here and then another oba mabaso resistant personnel so that'll be that'll be great here because once we do liberate west africa we can just create a ton of supplies with 10 uh i guess it would be 300 supplies per not month, but per supply drop. Just out of West Africa, which is going to be huge. So, anyway. I hope you found this episode fun, regardless. Uh, if you did, please let me know, leaving a like or a comment. And as always, thanks for stopping by, and hope to see you next time.